reached with them, the final decision about it. Uh, <coughs> our producing executives are, are good Americans, and by utilizing the free enterprise system of these United States, they've built the motion picture industry up to where it is now, the fourth largest industry in the world. They're businessmen, they're not politicians. Some of our executives have been deceived by the party liners they hired. Well, as a free people, we had no experience with such intrigue and conspiracy. Our executives were no more asleep than were our people or our government or the whole world, in fact. The communist is a trained propagandist, a highly disciplined operator, and as he's revealed by, has been revealed by the testimony of former Soviet officials and uh, ex-members of the Communist Party. His ways are devious and not easy to follow. I think that once our executives see this and know it for itself, they will be most happy to uh, clean it out of their pictures. In the first place, there's been very few pictures ever made with communist propaganda in them that were successes at the box office. I feel it has a great deal to do with the dearth of good pictures today. Motion picture industry is concerned. Well, uh, I would suggest that the Congress of the United States immediately enact such legislation as will preserve the Bill of Rights to the people for whom it was designed. Uh, that precious bill was never intended to protect enemy agents, saboteurs, and spies, whether they're American or alien-born. Uh, would you favor the outlawing of the Communist Party? I favor the outlawing of the Communist Party as a, an agency of a foreign government. You consider them to be the agents of a foreign government? I do, sir. Yes, sir. Mrs. Rogers, you uh, have devoted many years to the... ...you describe in this film as being communist propaganda. In None But the Lonely Heart? Yes. I can't quote you the scenes exactly, but I can give you the sense of them. Uh, there is the mother in the story runs a second-hand store. Uh, the son... So I'm a complete loss to uh, another thing. In the case, in the matter of Hans Eisler's background music, I would judge, after hearing you both here in California, that you would uh, conclude that that would contribute nothing to the communist text of the film. Uh, no, I do not. And if he's an intelligent man, he's looked out over the world and seen the condition that the rest of the world is in under their forms of government. I've often wondered what in the world he's thinking about. What have the communists got that he wants? The only thing that I can think of is that he must want advantage of some sort, that he must believe himself especially appointed, and uh, uh, that it will make him a god, uh, or a commissar, let us say, which is the same thing in their language. Uh, I can't understand that quirk of mine myself. I can only think that. You believe then, though, that uh, by exposing communism, by uh, aiding to educate the American people as to the dangers of communism, that we will do more that way to uh, 